Gamer back again with another Mission Impossible episode review. This time I'm reviewing Season 2, Episode 2, which is called Trek. So we start out with Jim getting his instructions from a payphone. Remember payphones? Um, <laughs> anyway, the mission is to retrieve treasure which has been stolen from the country of Santalis in Latin America. It's, uh, the theft was by a man named Jack Cole. Cole is being tortured for information by a Colonel Cardoza, who wants the treasure for himself. The team consists of the usual troop, minus Willie, but with the addition of a puppeteer named Robert Field. So Cardoza is torturing Cole uh, by putting him out in the sun with, with his eyes taped open, but Cole won't talk about where he hid the treasure or give Cardoza any information. Cardoza's superior, General Diaz, arrives. Um, a note for those who have watched the Revival series, General Diaz is played by Michael Pate, who is in the Revival episode, The Fortune, alongside Barbara Luna, who is a guest star on several episodes of the original series as well. Uh, he plays Luis Barazan in what is a very pivotal episode in the Revival series. Just an interesting note. Anyway, Diaz tells Cardoza that he wants custody of Cole, but Cardoza, as a delaying tactic, demands that the order be put in writing. That buys him a day or so. The rest of the team, uh, the IMF team, is setting themselves up out in the desert. They're, doing, they're making themselves up, uh, and uh, Robert Field is putting up some elaborate pulleys and strings and nets. So, Jim arrives at the prison as Ernest Kiefer, who is an agent for the fence that Cardoza is intending to use once he finds the treasure. Jim tells Cardoza that if he wants to find the treasure, he needs to let Cole escape from the prison with his eyes intact so that he can lead them to the treasure. That's really their only chance of getting it. Jim lays out a plan involving using Cardoza as a hostage and, using a, and says he has a helicopter ready to get the treasure out. We don't hear all the details about it from Jim at this point, um, for reasons which will become clear. Barney gets into the prison courtyard alongside some vendors, and he sticks a device into Cardoza's car radiator, as well as some pins on some Jeep tires. Jim is put in a jail cell across from Cole, and they commiserate for a while. The next morning when Cardoza comes to talk to Cole, Jim grabs him, and this allows Cole to get the key to exit his cell. He's about to run off by himself, but Jim threatens him with Cardoza's gun. So Cole releases him too and says, yeah, why not? Taking the colonel as a hostage, they make their way out of the prison, with Cole offing some guards for good measure. The three drive off into the desert, uh, but the radiator pops because of what Barney did, and that forces him to go on foot. Diaz and his men find the car and pursue the three on horseback. The trio find Farmer Rollin and take his horses, forcing him off a cliff, but of course it's just a dummy and Rollin is hiding on the net, which Robert had rigged up before. Rollin finds General Diaz and tell him he saw the three, but it seems like they were cooperating. The colonel didn't seem like their prisoner or hostage at all um, as he leads Diaz towards their trail. The three amigos find a ramshackle dwelling as Cole starts to feel the effect of the sun on his eyes. Inside, they find a dehydrated cinnamon, but also part of the treasure. Actually, one of B Barney's clever copies. Cinnamon says that she and her husband are archaeologists and they found the treasure, but his leg is broken and he needs help. Hearing this, Cole intends to trudge on alone, but Jim convinces him that he may need help if somebody's out there with the treasure and they can use the colonel as insurance if they are found. Cole tries to, to shoot Cinnamon to not leave behind a witness, but Jim reminds him that doing so would provide evidence that they were there. Better to just let Cinnamon die of thirst. Cole agrees. His eyesight continues to worsen, and he demands Jim's guns once they get higher up into the hills. Eventually, Cole goes completely blind and tells Jim to help him shoot Cardoza. Jim sets up a thick bag to absorb the shot in order to convince Cole that the deed is done. Cole gets Jim to lead him as gun at gunpoint as Cardoza follows behind quietly, 
sort of reminds me of Gollum in the Lord of the Rings as they're climbing up Mount Doom. Anyway, eventually they find a well-hidden cave and the treasure. Barney arrives with the helicopter, as promised, and Cardoza reveals himself to Cole that he's not dead. There's a struggle for the gun, and Cole ends up taking a bullet. The general arrives with Rollin, and Jim tells Cardoza to hold off the soldiers while he gets the helicopter to land. Except that Jim decides to climb up the rope ladder and leave with Barney, forcing Cardoza to surrender because he's all by himself. And because he fired at the soldiers, his story about being their prisoner belies credulity. Mission accomplished. I'm going to give this episode a grade of C+. Um... It starts out as a Peter Graves showcase, which, which obviously is really, really needed. Uh, this was actually the first episode filmed by Peter Graves, even though it was aired after the previous one, The Widow. Uh, why they aired it in that order, I'm not exactly sure, but that's what happened. So, so this was originally designed to be, you know, the showcase to tell people, okay, here's a new guy. Um, I don't know what else to say about that. Um, what else is good about this episode? Mark Leonard as um, Colonel Cardoza is really, really good. He's definitely a fine actor. Daniel O'Herlihy, who plays uh, Jack Cole, he's okay, I guess. I wouldn't say that his performance was fantastic, but it was good enough. I certainly wouldn't say that it was bad. So that's on the good side. What is not so good, again, the plot is deliberately slowed down. Uh, probably, again, some of it is deliberate. Some of it is just the nature of the mission, I suppose. Uh, and some of it is just to give Peter Graves as much airtime as possible. Um, so, again, I prefer a more lively pace, and we don't really get that in this episode. Um, again, I think the thing that, that is most problematic about this episode is that you've really got two villains that you're uh, that you that you're kind of against. That happens a lot in you know separate and mislead plots, uh, but but that's not like this. This I I, I don't know what it is, but it, it I just feel that the way it's structured, where we've got one guy, you know, in Colonel Cardoza, who's you know a bad guy, and Jack Cole, who's also a bad guy to varying degrees, you know, who's the batter guy. It's, it's really, really hard to tell. And because you can't, it, I don't know, I, I would kind of make an analogy to professional wrestling. It may sound bizarre, but stay with me for a second. You know, when, when you've got, you don't really want to think about who it is that you're supposed to root for or you're supposed to root against you know, in a professional wrestling match, even though the outcome is predetermined. You want to feel it. It should be obvious. If somebody has to tell you this is a good guy and this is the bad guy, well, you're not doing your job in terms of the presentation. And here, you know, you, you've got, we know who the good guys are and we know who the bad guys are. But who's the bad guy and who's just a bad guy is not very clear in this episode. And so I, 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 I want to use my words carefully. I was going to say that I, I felt that I had to think about it instead of just feeling that I know who I want to kind of, you know, be taken down in this episode. You want them both, but it, 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 it's almost kind of hard to choose for me. And that was problematic in, in this episode for me that, you know, it, it, it wasn't clear what I was supposed to feel, and I think I was thinking too much instead of just feeling that, you know, okay, I want to really be engaged in what happens here. So, yeah, that, 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 that's just how I feel, and I, I can only give this an episode, a, a grade of C+. I'll leave it at that. Thank you for watching. Always appreciate it. Please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. And um, please leave your comments if you disagree and, and you thought that this was a good episode or if you agree with me and thought and, and agree with my comments, please uh, leave your comments. I very much appreciate it. Thank you again and I'll see you next time.